Hi there. When we talk, write, or tell a story, we want to communicate something. Sometimes the information is pretty straightforward, as in 1 plus 1 equals 2, but a lot of times what we share is not so straightforward, so we may need to argue the point. But when someone presents an argument, you don't simply accept it. Or do you? Shouldn't you analyze it to see if it's a sound argument? Stick around and let's talk about analyzing the argument. Hi, welcome to Snap Language. I'm Mark Franco. An argument, or a logical argument, is a set of ideas put together to support a point. For example, this is a very simple argument. You like Japanese food, so you'll love the sushi restaurant. The claim is that because you like this, you'll also like that. But is it a good argument? If you understand really well what an argument is, you can then build strong arguments that support your ideas when you speak or write. And of course, when you listen to or read someone's arguments, you can also make sure that the arguments are well built or convincing. To build an argument, you need statements or claims. One of these claims is a conclusion. The other claims are premises. They provide evidence to support your conclusion. Let's look at a very simple example. Hawaii has hot weather year-round and beautiful beaches, so it is the best place for a vacation. There are three claims in this argument. The main point, or the conclusion, is that Hawaii is the best place for a vacation. Two premises support this claim. One, Hawaii has hot weather year-round, and two, Hawaii has beautiful beaches. Let's see how well this argument works. What supports the point that Hawaii is the best place for a vacation? One of the premises used as evidence is that it's hot there year-round. Well, if you like hot weather, yes, but what if you don't? And what if you'd rather go skiing? Hmm. The other premise is that Hawaii has beautiful beaches. How do you define beautiful? Why beaches in Hawaii? Aren't there other places in the world with beautiful beaches? What if you prefer the mountains or the city? We're not trying to prove or disprove that Hawaii is a great place for a vacation. We're simply analyzing the argument in this example. Even if you agree that Hawaii is a great vacation spot, you may decide that this argument doesn't make a good case for Hawaii. Let's look at another example. See if you can identify the claims and which is presented as the conclusion and which are the premises that support that conclusion. Cell phones pose serious risks to their users. Several studies have shown a correlation between cell phone use and the development of brain tumors. Hardell. The International Agency for Research on Cancer, IARC, classifies cell phones as a possible cause of cancer. Pause the video now if you need time to identify the claims. Premise 1 is here. Premise 2 is here. The main point, or the conclusion, is here. But wait, before you swear never to use a cell phone again, let's analyze the argument. Look at the premises again and ask questions. Are there problems with these premises? Is there sufficient evidence to support the conclusion? Researchers have found a correlation between cell phone use and the development of brain tumors. How good were these studies? A correlation does not mean that cell phones were the cause. Are there studies, maybe, that found no correlation? The second premise is that they classified cell phones as a possible cause of cancer. A possible cause of cancer means the evidence is not definitive. Do they make that classification based on the same studies mentioned in premise 1? If so, this premise is a bit redundant. Again, right or wrong, we're just analyzing the argument. As a critical thinker, you must challenge your assumptions and other people's assumptions. Just because something is in writing doesn't mean it's a fact or the truth. Even if a conclusion is based on facts, it doesn't mean it's a good conclusion. You may want to take another look at our video about distinguishing fact from opinion for more information on this. 
Snap Language has videos about reading, writing, and other topics. Knowing how to use the language well helps you think critically. Therefore, you should subscribe to this channel so you can get smarter through language. Well, this argument is totally true. Totally. Well, I'll see you in part two. For now, thanks for stopping by and watching this video. I'm serious though, uh, Snap Language rocks. Bye.